that. It's right. You make me start just talking again. Put the camera. Hello and welcome. I'm Emma Cook from Purely Balanced. We are a sleep specialist here in the UK, and today we are talking all things sleep with George from Nimbus Bed. Hiya, and we're gonna answer some questions that you've sent over on Facebook and Instagram on sleep-based questions with Emma, the sleep specialist, from a sleep specialist perspective. We're gonna cover techniques on how to sleep smarter, we're gonna take you over all things sleep, and we're gonna join you throughout this answering your questions on how to sleep better. See you there. <clears throat> so, I'm having trouble breathing while sleeping, and it seems to be more so on the back. Okay, so something that that is usually to do with is something called sleep apnea. Um, I'm not actually qualified enough to talk about that because that's usually something that you've got to go to a GP and ask about. However, if, a quick, if you have a quick Google search on sleep apnea and see if that resonates with you, then if that is resonating with you, then pop yourself along to your GP. But just in the meantime, something that you could do is sleep slightly upright, so get some nice heavy pillows, some nice thick set pillows and sleep upright. What the breathing is, is when you fall asleep and you lie on your back, your pressure from your weight on the stomach actually presses down on your diaphragm. If it's pressing down on your diaphragm, it's the wind getting trapped coming in through your windpipe. So the actual lack of breath is the, the gasp of the diaphragm not being able to actually move up and down correctly. But it could be also underlying sleep apnea, so confront a GP first. <laughs> 